In this video, we're learning about basic word order in German, or what people sometimes call syntax. But let's start with word order in English, and in particular with this example sentence. I am going to the beach on Saturday with my brother. Notice the order of the words in English. We start off with the subject, that is I, the thing doing the action in this sentence. Then we have the verb, which in this case is two words, am going. After the verb, we have three additional pieces of information. Firstly, the place to the beach. Secondly, the time on Saturday. And thirdly, the manner with my brother. What we mean by manner is just how this action is accomplished. Any additional information about the action. Now, of course, we could change this in English, and often we do by putting the time at the start of the sentence. So, for example, on Saturday, comma, I am going to the beach with my brother. And in this case, we just separate the time from the rest of the sentence and continue as usual. The pattern of the word order, which we notice in English, is this. Subject, then verb, then place, then time, then manner. We don't even think about this when we speak English as native speakers, but it's important to look at this so we understand what then happens in German. Importantly, we need to see what happens to an English sentence if we add a second verb. So we're going to start with our original sentence, but instead of just going, we're going to add desire. So I want to go to the beach on Saturday with my brother. What has changed in this sentence? Essentially, all we've done is slotted in the second verb straight after the first verb. That's where it belongs in an English sentence. So we're going to add to our pattern subject, then verb, then second verb, then place, then time, then manner. Notice that we could potentially move the place or time or manner to the front of the sentence to add a bit more emphasis to that aspect. But the verb and the second verb essentially always come as a pair straight after the subject. Now let's compare that with word order in German, which is in some ways just as flexible as that of English, but in others has a couple of very strict rules which we need to learn as native English speakers. Let's use the translation of the example that we used in English. Ich gehe am Samstag mit meinem Bruder zum Strand. We start with the subject, ich. The verb, gehe is in second position. Then we have the time, am Samstag, on Saturday, mit meinem Bruder, which is the manner, how we are doing it, with my brother, zum Strand, the place, to the beach. Let's label these five different positions, one, two, three, four, and five. Like in English, we could move the time phrase to the beginning of the sentence, but notice what is different to the English sentence if we do that. Am Samstag gehe ich mit meinem Bruder zum Strand. What I hope you've noticed is that the verb must remain in the second position in this sentence. Yes, am Samstag comprises of two words, but it's one phrase, and so gear is still in the second position position, and ich, the subject, must come after the verb. This is a very important and inflexible rule in German, which you must learn. The first verb of the sentence comes in the second position. But what happens to the second verb in German? If you recall, the second verb in English goes straight after the first verb. I want to go to the beach on Saturday with my brother. Want is the first verb, and to go, the second verb, goes straight after it. However, in German, something very different happens, which is important to learn, and that is 
in this example, the translation of the English, Ich will am Samstag mit meinem Bruder zum Strand gehen. Notice that the second verb comes right at the end of the sentence. This is very strange for us as native English speakers. I want on Saturday with my brother to the beach, go. But it's very normal in German and this is a pattern which we need to get used to. So how do we summarize this pattern? We have the subject, then the first verb in second position, then the time, then the manner, then the place, and finally, if there is a second verb, it comes in the final position. Let's look at some more examples which use all types of German verbs. Our first example. Er kann heute nicht zur Schule kommen. He can't come to school today. Our first verb, kann, is in the second position after the subject. And our second verb, kommen, comes right at the end of the sentence. For our second example, let's put the time phrase at the beginning of the sentence. Heute kann er nicht zur Schule kommen. As native English speakers, we have to resist the temptation to say heute er kann. That would be incorrect. Kann must remain in the second position. Let's look at our third example. Ich gehe um 6 Uhr morgens laufen. I go running at 6 o'clock in the morning. In this example, once again, the first verb is in second position after ich, the subject, and the second verb comes right at the end of the sentence. Our fourth example. Meine Geschwister sind gestern zu Hause angekommen. My siblings arrived at home yesterday. Notice that sind is actually the third word in that sentence. But because meine Geschwister is one concept, my siblings, sind is still in the second position. And in this case, it's a past tense verb that goes right at the end of the sentence. Our second verb is angekommen, arrived. In our final and fifth example, sie wird nächstes Jahr nach Deutschland fahren. We have a future tense verb, wird, which is in second position as usual. And our second verb, fahren, is right at the end of the sentence. Here are our two rules to remember from today. The first rule is about the verbs. The verb must come in the second position. And if there is a second verb, that must come in the final position. Our second rule is about the word order of those other elements in the sentence, which we didn't talk about much, but which you will have hopefully noticed that the other elements in the sentence, apart from the subject, go in this order, time, manner, place. Or you can remember it as TMP.